Greetings, Stan Daniels here. This is a quick demonstration of how I make focaccia dough. It's really simple. It's the same recipe I use for making my other no-knead bread. <clears throat> Start with uh, two cups of whole wheat flour. some yeast. That's about the right amount. A little more, a little less, doesn't really matter that much. <clears throat> um, now, normally you add some salt, but in this case, since I'm making focaccia, I'm just using a salt, rosemary, oregano, basil mix that I use as kind of a catch-all flavor additive for my other dishes. So <clears throat> in this case, I'm just going to add a little bit more than usual, um, about that much. Throw it in. And because <clears throat> I like pepper, I'm going to add some really coarse pepper. Now to give it a nice zing. Now, <clears throat> uh, go ahead and stir up the dry a little bit. So with those green flecks, it'll make it easier to tell when everything is mixed up. Stir, stir, stir. If you hear the uh, sound of cooking in the background, those onions for my lasagna for tonight. All right, that looks pretty good. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to start with olive oil, and I'm, I basically I'm just going to eyeball it because, well, gee, I've done this enough times. So, put in some olive oil, and this, you know, this olive oil is not the best. The better olive oil you have, the tastier your focaccia will be. Stir that in. And now I'm going to add water to the mix. Start stirring that in as well. And what I'm looking for is a particular consistency in the bread. That will tell me that it's stirred enough or it has enough water and stirred enough. Get the edges. Try not to make a mess. And there are people out there who have <coughs> machines that will automate all of this. Um, that's great for them. Nothing quite like uh, stirring your own dough or mixing, rather, in this case, mixing your own dough. <coughs> you definitely know the, the feeling of your bread by the time you're done with it. Okay, that's, that's a little too thick. Add some water, <clears throat> and again, it's a matter of stirring until you get the right consistency.
Okay, that's looking pretty good. Yeah, I like that. This is going to be a slightly chewier Focaccio. As you can see, the starches are already sticking quite effectively. Okay, now, <clears throat> last part, clean off my stir stick here of the dough, the bread mix. All right. And to minimize the cleaning I have to do later, I'll scrape down all of the wet and dry from the edge of the bowl into the dough. Like so. And just for giggles, I'll add some more on the top. Why not? <clears throat> it's, it's hard to over spice, at least in my opinion. So now this is going to rise, I'm going to cover it and let it rise for anywhere between four to six hours and it will double in size at which point I will take it out of the bowl cover it in flour a little bit and cut it in half and then I'll put it in two separate skillets and I'll put those into the oven uh, at 225 covered 225 for anywhere between 20 to 25 minutes and guaranteed it will be delicious so I hope you enjoyed this and happy baking.